Holy shit, a billion dollars have just been whacked off from the futures position in Bitcoin. The global economy is in absolute free fall right now. <laughs> what the hell is going on? I went to bed last night. I woke up to an absolute disaster. We're going to talk all about it just in this morning's walk. I'm out with the dog somewhere. I don't know where she is. But make sure you hit the like and subscribe button so you stay up to date with everything going on. It's going to be wild. So, take a breath. What is going on? Well, interesting you need to understand how the macroeconomic side of things works the japanese nikki has been something that people have been traded against not percent interest generally people are allowed to take positions in cash against that and then trade against the dollar or the pound or whatever it is well the interest rate went up on the nikki hasn't done it before hasn't done it before you obviously have loads of these macro effects as well that have been kind of uh, sat haunting us and it sent the market into absolute freefall. People can't get positions they wanted to, and then huge global positions are selling off. We only saw Warren Buffett last week selling over $277 billion. Tech stocks absolutely collapsing, the risk of a recession on everybody's mind. So kind of crazy Bitcoin collateral damage, I think in the overall market to just be a billion dollars in our sector of the world is pretty wild, but actually, what, what do we do next? What do we do next? That's the question on everyone's mind. And the reality is, well, we're going to have to wait and see what happens. Now, is it good to be in very risk places? If you're in some random meme coin, arse crack Inu, you might want to look at putting some positions in cash. It might be a bad thing to purchase at the bottom, but I definitely don't think it would be wise to hold that, as I think we may be in for some very volatile waters this week. Now, what's even more interesting when we think about the global market is there may be an emergency Fed rate cut. So we know today the ECB, the European Central Bank, as well as the Fed are meeting at an emergency meeting today. We could actually see 25 basis points from the Fed reduced within a week, which I guess is kind of wild to think about, but it's about stimulating the market. Cash trades just opening here in the UK. We'll see what that looks like. Pricing very much a downtrend. And then lots of the big players, the safe money and invested, 10-year yields, bonds are all absolutely down. So this is this is a global problem, but I don't think it's anything as bad as we've seen before. We know why it is. The Japanese market is struggling. Tech stocks being slightly overpriced. And again, just a general momentum move that was probably a little bit early, probably a little bit of a too aggressive of a move. The jobs market coming in particularly weak, especially in those tech companies that we talked about, NVIDIA and Microsoft, delivering pretty poor jobs reports that we all thought were going to be significantly better than they were, all of which means people move out of risk assets. Now, it doesn't mean that we are going down forever. We actually have a CPI report coming 14th of August, which could be pretty interesting, as well as a couple of other macro effects. Uh, look, <clears throat> is it wise, like I said a, a minute ago, to be in really risk positions? Probably not. Is it worth being sensible, preserving some capital, and I guess being able to be buying the opportunity out there. It's going to be a wild ride this week. If we get this rate cut from the Fed, expect some price volatility. We could even see it go worse. I think a lot will depend on what happens with the market. We'll be looking to later on, certainly here in the UK, as to when the US markets open, because that is where it's going to get interesting. But for now, expect a real volatile week. I guess the good thing, the silver line, if there is one, we kind of know why it is. And it's always better to know why than not. But as always, we'll keep you posted right here on the channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn your notification bell on so you're not going to miss a beat because this week is going to be wild. Until later on, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.